All right, Aqua fam, you already know what it is. What's happening? In? It's your girl, Empress 777, here today with your almost daily love reading. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. We are ready to jump right in. Holy angels and spirit guys, give me clear, concise messages for my Aqua gang, 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 gang. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As you guys know, it is general, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, keep an open mind and open heart as tarot is fluid, guys, right? So this could be um, something that you have gone through in the past, something that you are currently experiencing or something predictive of the future. Cross watchers are welcome here. Okay, what's up? What's happening? All right, just put yourself where you belong in the story. Um, just a few little uh, announcements, right? My um, scheduling for personal reads is going to be closed until further notice, okay? Um, if you've already submitted a payment, um and have heard a response back from me, then you're good. I, I will get those completed. Um, I've been swamped with those actually. If I have responded to you and you have not submitted a payment, then it is null and void unfortunately because I am totally backed up. I'm actually working on another project guys. So until further notice, that is going to be shut down. I will let you know when I, I open those back up again. Um, while we edit, you know what I'm saying? While we making these announcements, go ahead and click that like button, okay? So that this video can circulate to those who need it, right? Um, people can find our channel, join our soul family. Um, also click the subscribe button if you have not. What are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you've been here before, please. Oh, Spirit says, stop talking shit. They had me knock this whole shit over, okay? Okay, let me stop, let me stop. Just click the subscribe button, okay? Become a part of our family. Uh, we do cut up over here. Click that notification bell as I do upload for you guys quite often. Now listen guys, during your meditation, I heard a very poignant message, okay? Um, I don't know who needs to hear this. They didn't say that if this is something that resonates, that this is totally, you know, that this is not a read for anybody else who doesn't resonate with this, but it was very, very prevalent in the meditation session. Stop explaining yourself. I don't know. What is that? Are you are you doing that? It's like, stop. You don't have to explain yourself. Um, most of the time, the way that you operate, the way that you do things, the way that you handle your life, the way you move, right? How you moving out here in these streets is going to go over most people's heads, period. It is not your job for, uh, it's not your job to make people understand who you are as a person, how you move, how you operate, how you think what you're going to do next, how you feel. like it, That's not your responsibility. All right. So please take that if it resonates. Um, a very, very chill vibe during the meditation though, right? I don't get the idea that you're stressing over that. So this could be something that you have really come to grips with in your own mind. You're not out here trying to get people to understand you as a person, not trying to make people feel comfortable with you as a person. You can either stay or you can get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be here. Like, I don't need people, you know what I'm saying? Not like that, but it's just like aquas are really um, self-reliant energies, okay? Not very often do, do you need a person. It's nice. It would be nice, you know? It's nice to have friends. It's nice to have people to bounce things off of and have relationships and things of that nature, but you don't necessarily need it, right? Especially if it comes with the fuck shit. No, we're not condoning that. All right, so I like that. I like it a lot. Very, very confident in that decision as well. Do I take all of these? Oh my God, what are we doing out here? Ooh, it's time to release negativity. All right, so I feel like whatever that energy was in your meditation was, it's definitely a negative source of energy, point blank in the period, right? This is something that you already know. This could definitely be a specific person. Now, if you resonated with that message, then you know exactly who this person is. This is somebody who you have released from your life or are currently um, working to release them. Now, releasing people or releasing energy doesn't necessarily mean that they get cut off cold turkey. For some people, they do, okay? They do. They get, they get cut the fuck off, right? At the knees, clean cut. No emotions attached, no fucks given, and done, right? For others, such as family and things like that, you can't, it's not that easy, right? But you can definitely um, dictate how much of, they, of your time you allow them to have, right? You can disengage to a certain extent. Um, really, really energy focused at this time. I feel like Aquarians always are in that way though, okay? Whoever this is could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Uh, we have worked through your fears. So I don't know what at this time you may currently be hesitating to go towards. Um, for some of you, it could be going towards the next step, going into a new portal or 
going towards a relationship at all, right? It's a scary thought, especially because of um, the vulnerabilities that you feel for opening up in this certain situation um, currently has you at a pause. It's like, mm, maybe I should just be alone for a while. Um, healing can definitely be a significant energy in releasing negativity. Um, let's see here. This is a lot of fucking cards. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah can't make it up they're not playing out here they i like when spirit does that though okay when they kind of just go ahead and double confirm for me what i'm feeling definitely a time of healing definitely a time of releasing all negative energy now make sure that you yourself are not bringing this negative energy about right that can happen with negative self-talk doubts fears right all of that is low vibrational um if you resonate with this thus far, this is something that you have definitely worked very, very hard at um, bringing to cease. You know, you want to bring that to an end. Um, if you do have fears towards going through, going um, towards certain things, new opportunities, roads that have no, not been traveled before, um, do it with fear. That's what I just heard. Even if you are afraid, just still do it. Ooh, communication is key. Now, listen, guys. In this energy that you are in currently um this releasing right um cutting cords becoming one with yourself getting on one accord with the divine with spirit um and being just very comfortable with your decisions period right not really asking for permission not really looking for validation whatsoever you don't feel like you need that especially not from another human being um Whatever has come to a demise or is currently going through a tumultuous time, whatever connection this might be, um, it is the communication that is lacking. Now, here's the thing when it comes to communication. You could tell a motherfucker straight to their face what the fuck you mean. And because they don't communicate the same way, it goes right over their head. Isn't that just what I said? Yeah, I was feeling that in your meditation. So it's not a lie. Um, I don't get the idea that you are speaking a foreign language, but in reference to the way this person comprehends whoever this might be, the two of you do not have the same communication style. Um, it has really, really had things take a turn for the worse, um, for lack of a better term. Um, you're no longer trying to get them to understand. You're no longer trying to get them to um, comprehend what the fuck you've been saying all this time. Just don't feel the need to do that anymore. All right, let's see here. I get the idea that you were dealing with someone who had fears of their own. Um, their fears um, were actually the catalyst to sabotage this connection. Okay, it added a lot of negativity, unnecessary negativity in your mind to this to this connection, to this space that you guys were currently in. All right, you're currently trying to heal from it, though, okay? Ooh, okay, all right, all right. Well, I don't think that you need this warning. I don't. I feel like you are already in this cycle of releasing shit, okay? I don't think that you're currently allowing people in. Um not newcomers and definitely not people from the past this is definitely a divinely guided connection okay make no mistakes about it all of this had to happen exactly the way that it has happened um unfortunately this person allowed their fears to kind of cultivate and take precedence in this relationship okay they allowed their fears to kind of do the work for them rather than using their intuition this person might not even have that you know what i'm saying they might not be even awakened to the fact um that you were their soulmate right i just get that kind of energy with this divinely guided card okay this is definitely contractual i'm feeling that energy as well um so i feel like you've held up your end of the bargain um and you communicate it very clearly very black and white this was not there were no gray areas there not in your mind but this person does not comprehend do you understand when they hear you talking you're speaking a foreign language to them okay all right see yeah it's not it's not a lie guys okay so it's definitely a lesson for this person i don't get the i don't get a whole lot of energy of this person doing it purposefully um this is somebody who's operated this way their entire life okay their entire life um they were given a pass you know what i'm saying they were allowed to be they were allowed to just kind of conduct themselves however they saw fit they never really had to uh, show accountability they never really had to answer to anyone you know what i'm saying 
Um, so when you start to get into a connection with somebody like an Aquarius, <laughs> there are standards there, my G, okay? My guy, my gal. There are standards there, standards that must be met if we are even going to have a conversation, let alone a relationship, okay? See? Yeah. This is somebody who is missing you guys. I know you don't care. I know you don't care. I know you don't. Um, they are a bit confused. And here's why. You're like, but I told them. I told them. I told them several times. I told them several times. I know. But again, your words is like, um, I don't know. Morris code or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They cannot fucking under they don't fucking understand what it is that you're saying. Do you understand? You could say it in layman's terms. You could, whatever language it is that you communicate in this person is actively um not in tune with the way that you communicate, guys, okay? Communication definitely is key in all relationships. It can really have you feeling like you're in some toxic ass shit because of the because the communication is off. All right. The lack of communication or the lack of comprehension from this person definitely led to some sort of betrayal, some sort of hurt. This is what you are currently healing from. You view this as something that you could just count your losses for and move in the opposite direction. It was definitely adding too much negativity um, to your space. All right. You, you did try. You tried. You tried. You tried long enough. Um, Time is too valuable for you, though. Oh, yeah. They told me. Yeah, this did come out. Okay. Yeah. I'm tired. Your time is too. Your time is too valuable, guys. Okay. Your time is way, way, way too valuable at this time. Um, as it always has been, but even more so now as you kind of put things into perspective and you kind of map out like your goals, where you're going, what it is that you want to accomplish, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and this person just does not fit that. They, they don't fit, right? Um, it's a lot of work is what I'm hearing, right? It's a lot of work. You don't. There's not enough time in the day to deal with this person. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whatever it is that you did um, to them, <laughs> you're like, I ain't do shit, girl. What the fuck are you talking about? I know. I'm just saying. This person, they enjoy the time with you. They enjoyed what they were getting out of this relationship, um, even if it was not expressed, okay? As this person is not a communicator, that is not their strong suit. Um, this may be somebody who was definitely afraid of commitment, afraid to show their feelings, um, while they're saying, yeah, see, definitely somebody who, who did not play their hand correctly. Um, you're like, I had no idea that they loved me. Actually, that's not even what love fucking looks like. That's not what love looks like. You know what I'm saying? It's the communication guys. Okay. Whatever this person has in their mind as a standard of what love should be in a relationship, they felt like they delivered that. Wow. They're delusional, huh? Or they just never been in love before, guys. I'm being very honest. They never dated someone. They never, this is somebody who has never possibly been in a connection this deep, okay? Um, they have connections that are very surface level, okay? This is why the connection with you scared the bejesus out of them, scared the sh living shit out of this person. Um, they were ill prepared for a connection this strong, for chemistry this strong, for um, a pull, a magnetic pull this strong they were not prepared for it um especially with me getting the sense that they are not awakened they have not ascended um this is not really a spiritual type of person this is the lesson that they're actually being taught however right especially if you're going in the opposite direction and focusing on your own goals your own self um they very much so want your attention back okay, say that. okay they want they want to be in your good graces again i don't know i don't know they are very much so embarrassed they're embarrassed as fuck especially because they probably I think that this person thought that they were going to be able to shake whatever feelings they did transpire <laughs> oh my god I'm not gonna call them stupid I won't call them stupid I will not do this I'm not gonna do this today I'm just not I'm not gonna do it what are we gonna do with this you like girl I ain't doing shit I'm chilling right I ain't tripping on nothing um you're good I felt it in the energy of your meditation very very self-reflective energy um 
certainly not worried about any body let alone the likes of this person um you're, you're very very focused on a goal at this time one particular goal okay it's going to be different for all of you but there's one goal in particular that you are um tunnel vision right eye of the tiger um so that is taking up much of your time much of your mental space but every so often this person might pop back in um in your dreams okay you may be getting downloads you may um see sign synchronicities that kind of relate this person and that is because of their energy do you understand they are definitely trying to pull you back in energetically i don't get the idea that this is somebody who is coming towards you i have to be very honest i don't see like a community i don't see communication just yet coming out this is somebody who is truly embarrassed at the fact that now they realize that those feelings don't go anywhere <laughs> oh my god you don't get to decide when you stop loving somebody okay all right now you done fucked around okay and allowed aqua to sauce you up you know what i'm saying get you real nice like right add a little bit of seasoning on that thing sauced up and that is not something that you can easily get over especially when it comes to the love of an aquarian right very very loyal type shit it's different level type shit not only does it take you a long time to get there but once it is given pure purity is what we're talking about here okay okay it's levels to this shit um and it is very much so like a drug that you have to <laughs> wean yourself off of. I get the idea that something was cut cold turkey here. Um, unexpectedly, okay? Yeah, definitely. Um, the embarrassment certainly comes from their fear of just not going for it, not relaying to you how they truly feel about you, not really being honest with themselves or you. You don't have any idea that this is inside of this person. They don't communicate, okay? They don't show feelings. They don't communicate. They, they, they wasted your time in your mind, okay? So the embarrassment of it all is definitely what has them on pause. I hope they don't think that you're about to turn back around because that's definitely not what's happening. You don't even have them at the forefront of your mind at this time. You're focused on something entirely different. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know, guys. I think that you were too bright for this person. Do you understand? What do you mean by that? Well, when it comes to certain connections, this could be soulmate, um... This definitely could be karmic, but I get the idea that it, it also has twin flame vibes, right? Um, it's like looking at the sun, um, especially if you have somebody who is insecure, somebody who is still working through their shadows. Um, shadows that kind of overpower. We all working through shit. Let's just be very clear, right? As human beings, we're all working through shit. But some people are not able to face their shit head on. Some people are actively blindfolding themselves to their sh to their bullshit, right? So they allow that bullshit to infiltrate other people's spaces and fuck up other people's energies because they won't deal with it, because they won't look at it, because they won't have time for themselves to work through that shit. Um, not your problem, again, right? Like, that's not your problem, Um you were like the son to this person. They couldn't look at this relationship for very long at all. I get the idea that there was lots of hot and cold. You couldn't, very inconsistent, very fickle, very, very hot and cold. Um, couldn't quite pinpoint what the fuck was going on in their mind. And then you kind of just come to the conclusion that there might not be anything in that mind. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing there. Oh, poor little Tink. Poor little Tink Tink. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I know I'll be going in sometimes, but I feel lots of... And I don't... I feel like there is some sort of semblance of remorse. Slightly. Slightly. Um, because this is somebody who was ill-prepared for you guys, okay? They kind of handled you like every other connection when you were everything but every other connection i mean you were anything but that. you were way 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 above all of the other connections but they thought that their behavior and their mannerisms from past connections would work here oh my god wow okay let's see we, mm -hmm. i get jealous when i think of anyone else having you and stealing you away boy bye girl girl bye okay 
What are you talking about right now? You had ample opportunity to get this shit done. You had Aquarius. You had them. You let them go. Okay. You just kind of poured that shit out for the homies. And that was that. That's how they handled your cup. Um, you feel like they didn't value it. You know what I'm saying? Fucking cup of ace of spades. And they just throwing that shit down. The pouring, it, pouring the whole shit out for the homies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just... Oh my gosh. You gave this person bottle service, guys. Okay? There's lights, cameras, action, drazzle, dazzle, you know what I'm saying? Sparklers and shit. You really put it on for this person, guys. You did. Um, this could definitely be where the hurt is stemming from. Okay? Your effort um, is unmatched. And when you feel like it has been wasted, now that's the shit that pisses you off. So... You need not, ma'am, sir, bro, sis, sit the fuck down. You, you need not be concerned about what Aqua is doing after this. You, you definitely just need to sit in the corner and think about what you did. Okay. Let spirit work through you. You don't, this is not the type of person who needs to be looking to be with anybody at this time. This is somebody who has a lot of demons, guys, that they are battling with. Okay. Dark, dark shadows, dark, dark demons. Um, they take that shit out on other people because the mental capacity, they don't know how to handle it, right? It overwhelms them. This is not somebody who handles their issues very well. They kind of just act out. Ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to get mad now. Oh, shit. I knew it. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all, spirit don't play. Spirit is not playing. They're not playing today. Today, on this day, on this day, with you and I, they're not fucking around, okay? It always coming, always coming, but I definitely get the idea that it's falling on deaf ears, period. This is what they need to be doing, guys. While you are focused on you, this person is focused on you. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. You, you're not really trying to figure out how you got to this juncture. You're not trying to figure out how you got to this point. You're just trying to do what exactly? Because you're still the same person. So logically, right? If we're going to use logic, you're like, girl, there ain't no logic in this shit. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. If we're using logic here, right? You and me, you and I, fuck them. I'm just saying. If you have not changed, don't you kind of know that the same thing? Thing will happen like transpire aqua knows this they're not trying to hop in a cycle with you okay <sighs> so i don't know what good this is going to do it says i'm sorry for disappointing you will you accept my apology <laughs> oh, god. oh my god yeah that goes right over the i don't know guys i mean i get very very ten of cups energy i feel like you gave them all ten of your cups ace of cups possibly for some of you that's upper echelon shit that's top notch shit you know what I'm saying? Top shelf. That's top shelf shit. And they just poured that shit out for all day homies. You know what I'm saying? The homies ain't even dead. They just pouring it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What are we doing here? What the fuck is we doing? What are we doing? Oh boy. Okay, guys, look. I just want to get into this a little bit deeper. And then we're going to go over to the extended. I know I've been running my mouth, but that's just how we go sometimes. So what is this person's purest feelings for you at this time? I definitely think that apology, ooh, they want access. You have denied them access, guys. Okay, you have, you got your bodyguards to throw that ass to the curb for you. you you're not doing the dirty work. You feel like you've put in enough effort. So it's just like, figure it out. This is why they're trying to decide, like, are you avoiding me? Like, is this really done yet? This, this person feels like there has not been closure. You have had closure for yourself. <laughs> And you can kind of care less if they do, okay? This person is definitely wanting to, you to grant access to them for a conversation again, guys, okay? I don't know if this is happening in the very near future, though, because I get the idea that this I'm embarrassed card is what they are currently in, okay? Um, it's the jealousy of it all. It's the thought of you moving on to someone else. It's the thought of someone else reaping um, the benefits <laughs> that they were getting. That is what's going to bring them back to your door you like what door girl i, I don't even live there no more the fuck? what door girl i cemented that shit <laughs> there ain't even no door there okay okay 
Ooh, they might be making a fake profile, guys. If you block them, they're watching you, okay? They're just going to be watching you. They are extremely embarrassed. Um, I'm just hearing this intuitively. Some of the embarrassment stems from them seeing you move on effortlessly. Like it never happened. Like they never existed. Like they never mattered. <laughs> oh my God. What is this? Okay. So how they feel you've affected things. Yeah. <laughs> You got out of there. You decided for yourself that the road less traveled is far more appealing than a cycle. You would rather eat a jean jacket. <laughs> That's what I heard. You would rather, I don't know, you, you would rather do anything but that, okay? You are looking towards the future. You are, lo you are really um, kind of... This person wanted you to sit in a space and just go with the flow, okay? Think about the here and now. Think about the now, right? Not very Aquarian energy. I don't know who they thought they was fucking with. You're very, very detail-oriented and one to... Um, I don't feel like you are so anal that you plan out every little detail down to the second for the future, but you definitely have an idea where this shit's supposed to be going okay all right you got the gps for your life okay so irregardless of how the fuck you get there you know exactly where you're going and if you see something that does not coincide with getting there then that shit getting cut the fuck off you know no questions asked mine made up Oh my God. Okay. So let's go on over to the extended. I do want to see what spirit's lesson is for them currently, right? They're being taught this lesson. I also want to see what karma this person is going to be facing in the near future. Why did the divine allow this to happen? Because this is divinely guided. So I definitely want to clarify that and look into that. That is definitely going to be a signifier of your lesson. Um, why this had to happen in your life, what this may be a catalyst for in the next cycle for you. Um, especially if you've done this healing. Okay. Um, we're also going to see where do they believe this will end up, okay? Their next steps, the intentions for those steps, and the best possible outcome, either way you decide to go. No judgment here. Um, we'll also take a look into what's coming in for you in your next cycle. Only good, okay? I feel like you've been through some shit, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever message this is has definitely been through some darkness. It's dusk. <laughs> No, it's dawn. Dawn is almost here, um, but you're still riding out the darkness. Um, the light is just beyond, right? That's what I just heard intuitively. So we're definitely going to see what's in the near future coming in good for you. Um, I want to know how you can prepare to make the most of this time coming in to capitalize off of it possibly um, for success, okay? And then we're also going to see what blockages may need to be released to ensure that you are invisible to all toxicity going into the next cycle. You don't want to backtrack and start doing the same shit, okay? So we gotta get that out of there. Um, I also wanna see spirits focus advice for you for overall success in life, finances, um, and love. Life in general, how to get that how to get success in life overall in the least amount of time okay so click that like button guys click the subscribe button and come on over with me okay we're gonna cut up a little bit i'm gonna dig into this okay it's gonna be linked down below i'll see you over there